A simple weekend gardening job landed Paul Copeland in hospital for four days. When he topped up the soil in these garden beds a few months ago, he didn't realise he was being exposed to dangerous bacteria. Over the next week and a half, he became progressively sicker, with fevers, aches and trouble breathing. I'd never been that sick in my life. To get to the point where you can't walk and you can't talk, um, it was pretty bad. Thinking it was a severe bout of COVID-19, Mr Copeland went to hospital. That was ruled out, but a chest X-ray showed pneumonia. The cause was a mystery. But when I mentioned the dirt and the landscaping, they've gone back and done another test and that's come back positive. Legionella longbeachi is found in soil. Infection occurs if the bacteria is inhaled or spread from hand to mouth. Queensland Health has recorded 88 cases of soil-borne Legionnaire's disease this year, more than triple the average. We've actually had two deaths, which is, which is very unusual, so it's not common for us to see a death due to Legionnaire's disease. There have been 85 infections in New South Wales and 31 in Victoria. Experts think consecutive wet summers may be providing ideal growing conditions. We know that Legionella is a bacteria that likes to thrive in warm, damp environments. The health advice is to wear a mask and gloves while handling soil, compost and potting mixture. Work in a well-ventilated area and wash your hands afterwards. Recovery has taken months for Paul Copeland. Um, hopefully there's no long-term effects. They've done the x-rays post, no scarring on my lungs, which is good. From now on, he's happy to leave digging up the garden to the family dog. Melinda Howells, ABC News, Brisbane.